how in the world could one of my favorite Bible verses, one that calms me, that helps me listen, how in the world could I be at the very spot that that was written? That's one of the miracles of going to Israel for me. You want another story? <laughs>I think before the foundations of the earth, God had Israel on his mind, on his heart, which is why I believe that there are that there is so much opposition. It said that if you are pro-Israel, that means that you hate the Palestinians. And I just I think it's it's patently false. Being pro-Israel uh, is mutually and, and loving the Palestinians are is mutually exclusive. It's just it's it's intellectual dishonesty. I think what was really interesting to see in Israel. Of course, we know that there's diversity everywhere, and diversity is such a a, a thing right now. For me, just walking the streets of Israel and seeing like oh. These are the different facets of what a Jew is. Just to be able to visually see it, um, for me, was insightful. One of the reasons why I have such a passion for the people of Israel is because they're still God's, the apple of God's eye. The covenant that the Lord made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has not been nullified. It, it, it's not been revoked. It's still real. And so because of his covenant that he made with it, um, it gives me as a Christian an understanding, a deeper understanding of saying, no, these are still God's people, and for that, they're our family. A lot of people do not understand how much of a miracle Israel coming back into existence as a nation is, how much of biblical prophecy we see in that, how much of a miracle that is to literally be scattered amongst the nations and then all of a sudden to be brought back to, to the, their ancient homeland and to be established as a nation. So as a pastor, that gives me the opportunity to say, hey, you know, God's that God's in this, God's with Israel, and, he, and here's the history, here's the story. This is why this is happening. On my cell phone, like I'm still, my cell phone still has space. I mean like limited space because of all of my Israel videos. So we went to the border of the Gaza Strip and the idea of that it was so tense there, and so dangerous that bomb shelters had to be within 15 seconds of each other. And in the midst of, I never forget, in the midst of two bomb shelters, there was a playground. <sighs> so you mean to tell me that there's some people on the face of this earth that trust God enough to know that no matter the bombs, the potential danger, we still gonna trust God enough that we're gonna play in the midst of where bombs go off. <laughs> boy, I tell you, boy, I would've preached right there. The question becomes like, if they're right there, where, where missiles can go off at any moment, but yet we still trust God enough to have joy in the midst of the day, in the midst of danger. That transformed my life. For me, it's been a catalyst, even for my family. They wanna go now because I went. My friends wanna go now because I went. They wanna go now to experience it because they got to see it through the lens of what social media portrayed to them. and. For me, it's like, okay, if you want to go because of social media, wait till you see it in person. I really believe that, that Israel wants peace, right? I really, I really, really believe that. And you can tell, you can even see it in Israel. You see a, a picture of what it would like, what it would be like for everyone to live together. But it's just hard to have that. It's hard to have that harmony when there's, a, there's another side, or really, that's being pushed by the militant Islamic uh, fundamentalists, uh, whether it's Hamas and, and of course we know that their ties with Iran and the different people, it's hard, it's, it's hard to achieve that harmony when people are denying your right to exist. That there is a way that Palestinians and Arabs and the Jewish people can coexist because it's already happening in Israel. For us as believers, for those that are, that are pro-Israel, pro what God is doing there, pro-promised land, to also be pro all the neighboring neighbors, all, all the people around that actually are, are not for the very things that we're for. I believe that there is a day coming. I truly believe this. I believe that there is a day coming where we are going to see brother not fighting against brother, where there is unity, like the true unity, true harmony amongst one another, and that's what we pray for, that's what we fight for, that's why we pray on earth as it is in heaven.